knowing the keywords that people use to find your business and which ones you're showing up for and which ones you're not is super important. I'm gonna show you probably one of the easiest ways to figure that out um, with your Google business profile. So for anyone familiar, your Google business profile is the main thing that's gonna pop up on search and maps when people are searching for things related to your business. Um, I've got a lot of videos on it. It's really important to fill out and add keywords to and do a bunch of best practices. It's gonna help you show up more, which leads to more customers for your local business. But um, one of the things that you can check out to help you gauge where you are right now is you can find the keywords that you are coming up for. So if I go over here, um, I search my business name, city, state, make sure you're logged into the Google business profile or the, your Gmail account that's associated with your profile. Um, you click on customer interactions and then right here, if you scroll down a little bit, you're gonna see the searches that showed your Google business profile in the search results. So it means what did people actually search and then did Google pull up your Google business profile for these, right? And I'm gonna show you an example here and then I'm gonna show you a contrasting example that's not doing very well um, so you can kind of understand the difference in importance because there are so many people searching for what you do that coming up with the right keywords is really critical. So I'm just gonna go here, see more. For this business, they're doing really great. So you can see if people search hardware store, lumber, this is a lumber and hardware store, um, hardware store near me. And you can see how many people search this every single month. You'll be shocked at how many people are actually searching for the things that you do and offer. And these are people that are just looking for a hardware store, or a lumber yard, lumber, that's potential for a brand new customer. And they haven't decided where they're going to shop yet. Um, they're just searching generally, like for a hardware store near me, that's 360 people almost. And so by having your Google business profile come up for your business type or for your services can mean a lot more traffic. Now here are people searching for specific products and you see that the volume's not as big, but see how this Google business profile shows up for those. So I'm gonna make a video showing how to do products um, in a really good way, an easier way, so that you can start to capture some of those searches as well. But that's where you find your searches and it's really good to know what you're doing well for right now. And then if you figure out like, hey, I offer a service, let's just say they did equipment rental and you're not showing up for it currently, that gives you a chance to realize the keywords you need to add to your Google business profile and the reviews, the description, the posts that you do to help make sure your business comes up for something that you sell or offer that you're not currently coming up for. So you can check your keywords um, to, do, to do that as well. Now, if I go back here, I'm just gonna switch Google business profiles for a minute. I've got another um, Google business profile. And just show you, you know, if you if your business isn't coming up, that's going to tell you something that you need to start working on too. So you can see this is my brand new one. I started managing uh, party and event rental. You can see only four customer interactions. So that could be you right now. Um, but this is why you're looking into this information to figure out. So hit that subscribe button so you can check out the videos because we talk a lot about how to optimize this profile um, so your business is as successful as pop possible. So you can see less than 15 searches, right? And this is a brand new profile, so it's not very filled out yet. Not No photos, no reviews, um, not much going on here on this profile yet. No Q&A section. We just did a video with how to do a couple AI-driven posts. So those are there too. Um, but the profile is not coming up for very many keywords, which obviously means that the business you know, is not going to attract as many customers. So that's how you get to it. You go to your customer interactions and you scroll down and you can see what keywords your business is searching for already and then how you're doing so you can find gaps and opportunities or double down on the things that are working and add more keywords to your profile. So that's how you check that out. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe uh, for more great tips on growing your Google business profile to help you grow your business.